Council Lady Valerie Abbott, representing the Birmingham City Council, to express our appreciation to the Barber Motorsport and Museum for really making the uh, um, Indy race car event here a stellar event here in our community. I want to thank Graham Ray Hall and his family for really leading the way and representing uh, the IndyCar racers who come here each and every year to perform and show off their skills. But more importantly, I'm grateful that it gives our children an opportunity to see the various fields of endeavor that exist uh, out here in the world so they can um, strive to participate in the NASCAR, I mean IndyCar races in the future. Uh, it takes more than just a driver to make this car and this race a success. It takes engineers, it takes uh, mechanics, and, and everyone uh, to come on board and participate as a team to be successful. And I want you kids to understand that it takes teamwork to be a success in life. You can't do it by yourself. You need others to help you. And I have with me this afternoon Ms. Valerie Abbott to be part of my team to help us get IndyCar racing in Birmingham off to a start. So Valerie, you got a few words before we get started? Yeah, all you young people out there, run for public office and win so that you can get to ride in an Indy car. That's how you do it. So I want you to aspire, not because you want a better city, but because you want to have some fun. And I know that's what childhood and youth are all about. But this is a great opportunity for Birmingham. And all kidding aside, this is a wonderful event for us, and, uh, and we're, we're helping out the city of Leeds, too. But, so we're very generous and, and sharing people. But I hope that all of you can go out, because not only is there a big car race, there's Michael Jackson's Ferris wheel out there from the Neverland Ranch, and I know that every young person is interested in that. So I hope that everyone can come and enjoy yourselves at the races. Thank you.